Hi friends. So today I'm doing something totally different. Not at all foster care related. Um, just because I'm doing something this week and I wanted to document it. I promised a friend of mine I would document it. So here we go. I'm turning 30 this year, not for, you know, a few more months, but I am turning 30 this year. And I've just been really feeling like it's time to change up my aesthetic. I have looked very much the same for all my life. And I'm ready to make a big change. And, you know, even if I hate the change and go back to like this, then that's fine. But, uh, yeah. So... I'm changing my hair. So this is, I am a natural redhead. You can see my roots kind of right here. Um, this is the color I had as a child. As I've gotten older, my hair has gotten lighter. Um, and I was told by a hairdresser once that natural red hair doesn't really go gray. It goes white. Uh, I don't know if that is true. Maybe someone can tag hair god uh, Brad Mondo. Maybe we can get him to view this. Um, and maybe he can confirm that or not. Or another hairdresser. But anyway, I am naturally red, but I, I have dyed my hair different shades of red. Um, really, mostly different shades of this same red, just a little bit darker so that it can stay, you know, the color I grew up with versus this more like strawberry color that has... Um, it, my natural color has been turning into over the years. Anyway, so I'm changing my hair drastically. Very few people know that I'm doing it, um, including uh, nobody in my family besides my husband. And um, I'm doing it myself. So I have dyed my own hair many, 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 many times in my life. Um, but I've only ever dyed it darker shades of the same color. So I haven't needed to bleach it or anything like that. This time I'm going to bleach it first just so it holds the new color that I'm doing um, better. And I don't know how to bleach my hair. So I bought a kit and we're going to do it and we're going to document it and we're going to see how it goes. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in seeing my transformation, then hopefully you guys will stick around. Um, yeah, let's go. If you're new here, I'm Anna Leonora. Um, together with my husband, Jason, we're foster parents in real life. My typical channel is foster care and foster parenting related material. But I'm also like the president and CEO of Hot Mess Parenting. So I do do a lot of like just hot mess parenting stuff in general. My husband and I currently have uh, two foster sons. Um, they are not biologically related to each other. They are two separate cases. One is considered pre-adoptive. The other still has reunification on his plan. Um, but we have had the one with reunification on his plan for a year and a couple months now. And our pre-adoptive son we've had for about me mm, three months, maybe not quite three months yet. But anyway, <clears throat> so... We've had seven kids total come through our home. So my typical material is foster care related, foster parenting, hot mess parenting. So this one's just like totally hot mess parenting because I'm going to do my own hair and it's probably going to be a massive fail. I'm hoping it's not. But anyway, I promised a friend of mine I would document the process. So here we go. You all say bye to my pretty... My pretty red hair. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen myself in anything other than different shades of this. So I'm nervous. I'm going to go get my bleaching kit stuff together. And I guess we'll get started. So I got the Manic Panic Flash Lightning 30 volume. I, I have seen enough Brad Mondo videos to know that you do the roots last, but uh, that's about all I know. So I'm going to get this little kit mixed up um, and get my gloves on and I guess we'll get going. Okay, so I've dumped the cream and the powder into this little bowl they gave me and I'm going to mix it. 
Mix, mix, mix. Okay, I'm still mixing and it's starting to smell like hair bleach. Like I've been in a salon, I've smelled the smell of what it smells like before. Oh, starting to smell like it. So I have switched locations. I know the, um, it's a little more echoey in here and the lighting isn't as good, but I have always done my dyeing activities in the children's bathroom because it's easier for me to keep the cats out. Um, and with bleach, uh, being involved, I don't want my cats around. So I have, I'm missing my hair clip that I use to help keep my hair sectioned out. So I'm gonna go grab my hair clip and then I'm gonna get started. Okay, I have my clip, I have my gloves, I have my bleach. I guess we're gonna get started. Oh, I'm gonna take my glasses off. Sorry, I kind of look weird without them because I don't know. I've been wearing glasses for 13 years. So my face to me looks weird without them, but of course I don't want my glasses on while I'm doing this. This shirt, I don't mind getting bleached. It's an old shirt, it's got holes in it, so. <sighs> All right, <clears throat> before I get started, I'm gonna say a little prayer to the hair god, Brad Mondo. Almighty hair god, Brad Mondo. Please lend me your creative energy and allow this to go as well as it can with me having no professional training and doing it entirely at home by myself. Let it turn out to be good. I'm in. All right. I guess I'm just gonna get started. Like, I don't even know. I am dyeing my hair darker colors. They're like brighter, but darker. So I don't need to go platinum blonde. I don't need to go, um, yeah, I just don't need to go platinum because, what? I don't need to go platinum because, um, I'm not going platinum. So this doesn't need to make my hair platinum light. It just needs to make it light enough that it will take the dye that I wanna put in it. So I shouldn't hopefully, like it shouldn't matter if it's a little bit splotchy. It shouldn't matter if it doesn't get all the way lightened. I do know, again, to do roots last. Also, I know that this is not thick enough. I know Brad Mondo always talks about getting it like really saturated, and I promise I will. I'm just, we're getting there. We're just, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, and it's painfully obvious. I don't know what I'm doing. I just like to make sure, even when I'm like just dyeing my hair, I like to make sure my top layers are the most even because that's what people are gonna see mostly. And then the, the back and bottom layers, I just don't care quite as much about. But definitely, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm just going to take globs. Like, I don't even know. Oh my gosh. I'm probably absolutely destroying my hair right now. I just, like, don't have any idea what I'm doing. I feel like maybe I should have purchased two of these kits. Okay, let me make sure I did. Oh gosh. Now I'm gonna try to kind of separate it and see if I can get into some of these other layers here. Yeah, see like none of this, I haven't gotten any of this. And that is a problem. Oh God, this video is gonna be long as crap. 
and it'll just have to be okay. I have gotten as much as I feel like I can uh, while leaving enough for my roots. It's definitely not enough. It's definitely going to be splotchy. Um, but yeah, now I'm just going to leave it and check it every couple minutes. Uh, and I'll come back and do my roots in a little bit. So now I've got the bleach in. I definitely should have purchased a second kit because there was not nearly enough to fully saturate everything. Um, I did go through and put some in my roots at this point because it's been on for a little while. You can see how pink it's turning which you know obviously you can tell that I have red dye in those areas so it's definitely not going to be perfect it's definitely going to be splotchy mm. it's definitely going to look a little funny until I get the darker dye in it but I'm just hoping that because I'm going darker uh that the fact that this is super pink and is going to be very splotchy won't matter as much so I'm going to leave it on a little while longer um, and then I will wash it out and dry it and let you see the horrible bleach job before I dye it the colors I want to dye it. So. so yeah, as I suspected, I did not have nearly enough bleach uh, to cover my whole head. And you can see by my roots up here that they're very, very splotchy and it's just not a great job, but I got this like kind of cotton candy pink down here. And I do have um, a good girlfriend that's a hairdresser. I sent her videos and pictures of my hair. She doesn't think I need to lighten again just because of the color that I'm going for is gonna be darker than all this. Um, and she thinks that, you know, obviously lightening again is gonna be so much harder on my ends. So she thinks that I should be good to just go ahead and die on top of the color that I've achieved. So we're gonna try it. Of course, my friend, if before you go asking, I would absolutely have my friend do my hair if she lived anywhere near me, but she lives um, a couple states away, uh, many, many hours driving. So um, it's, you know, she can't just pop over and do my hair. But if she did live around here, I would have let her do this instead of doing it myself, because I realized this is a lot, but, uh, I guess we're gonna go ahead and put the dye in and see how that goes. All right, are you guys ready for the big reveal? Here we go. Oh my God, look. I did just a blue spot on this side and purple down here, which kind of blended with the red, but I love her. I love her so much. And like, look, I paired her with this really cute, army green short cutoff shirt with a long, I don't know if you can see it, floor length skirt and this really pretty duster. And I just, I love it. Oh, my kitty loves it too. Look, you know, someone's always got to make an appearance. This is Norman. Normally my camera shy one, but he's been popping up quite a bit recently. Oh, look at him. Just take a minute and appreciate how beautiful he is. Because he's really beautiful. And he's like almost 20 pounds. So he's a big boy. But yeah, you guys, what do you think? Brad Mondo, how did I do? Like I said, I've got just a little bit of blue right here. This I did purple down here, but it just, like I said, it blended with the red. I did a darker at the root. And let's look all the way around. Ah, I'm so happy. I think this is a wonderful way to walk into my 30th year around the sun. Like I said, my 30th birthday is still a couple months away, but... Your girl's gonna be rocking this for a little while, I think. <laughs> My cat's playing with the tripod like always. Okay, friends, <laughs> thank you for sticking with me through this video. I'm sorry I didn't show you um, when I was actually doing like the color hair dye because I did it last night um, during my children's dinner time. So I was like, dyeing my hair and helping my husband feed the kids and they were being crazy and you know they can't be on camera um due to confidentiality so they were like 
all up in my business watching me dye my hair. So it just, filming it wasn't going to be an option. So you got to see me do the bleaching part. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking with me through a non-foster related video. I appreciate it. And uh, there goes my light. My cat decided that it would be a good idea to knock the light over. So anyway, I'm going to go see y'all next week. Uh, next week should be more foster care related content. I just wanted to do something different. I wanted to have a little fun and I absolutely love it. I love the final results. Anyway, if you guys enjoy my hot mess parenting, anything foster care related, like the video, subscribe to my channel down below, hit your post notification bell so that you don't miss when I post any new videos like this. And let me know what you guys think of my hair. Let me know if you um, are enjoying some just life videos that are not necessarily foster care related. Um, yeah, because I can always make more hot mess parenting and hot mess life videos. Um, but if y'all aren't into that and you just want me to stick to foster care stuff, just let me know because I'm happy to do that too. Otherwise, if you're not already following me on TikTok and you want to see more of me, sorry I keep looking this way because my cat's playing with the light um, plug-in cord and I just don't want him to get electrocuted. Hey, no. If you want to see more of me, I post all the time on TikTok. So uh, go look me up there. My handle will be here. Otherwise, stay beautiful. Go out, shine your light into the world, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.